Hey guys, welcome back to Bristol Daily Homes. Ryan here. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about, um, you know, I've got a few clients right now that I've been working with for a couple months. They don't plan on buying until this coming spring 2014, uh, maybe in the February, March range. But something that always comes up is that, um, you know, I ask them, have they gotten pre-approved for a mortgage and been through that whole process before we start looking for a house? And they said, well, no, because we don't really plan on buying until the spring. Well, I think that it's critical and, and worth noting that it is of the uttermost importance to get pre-qualified way before you plan on buying. Um, mainly because there could be certain issues that come up. Maybe your credit score is not where it needs to be. Um, maybe there are certain things on your credit that need to be fixed up. Maybe um, you thought you qualified for a $500,000 house, but really you only qualify for a $450,000 house and you need to save up more money for a down payment. There's many things that can play a part in you know your qualification process. And all too many times, um, this has actually happened to a client of mine lately where um, you know, now all of a sudden they tell me they're really ready, their lease is, is, is you know, coming due and they need to get into a place within the next 60, 90 days, but they didn't take the steps to get pre-approved. You know, I, um, I asked them had they been pre-approved. They said you know, they had a friend that was a lender, so they wait until the last second, come to find out their credit score wasn't where they needed it to be to be able to get the type of financing that they were interested in. Um, what I do with all my clients is, like I said, I, I set them up early on, even if it's a year in advance, to know what their options are. Um, obviously, interest rates are is a moving target. They're going up and down every single day, and a lot of people have been panicking the last two weeks because they've shot up a quarter to three-eighths of a percent. Um, and I, as I talked about in a previous show, that has a lot to do with the holiday season, has a lot to do with a lot of these economic reports that are coming out that are positive. I all think I think that it's a farce. I don't, really don't put much stock into these reports, but it's just the nature of the beast. Um, the Wall Street, the Fed, they have to keep things um, looking as if they're positive, even if they're not. Um, but with all that being said, you can prevent a lot of heartache down the road if you you know, you work on getting your pre-approval early. If you get your pre-approval, as long as everything remains intact, your financial situation, you pay your bills on time, um, you, you know, you, you save up more money for a down payment, whatever it may be, you're going to be able to get that loan um, six months to a year from now. Now, with that being said, come the beginning of next year, the qualified uh, residential mortgage rule is going to go into place, which is going to actually lower people's qual um, qualifying debt-to-income ratios. So what that means is, is that you know, today you may be able to afford a four hundred fifty thousand dollar house, but come the beginning of next year, you might only qualify for four hundred twenty five thousand dollar house. Um, you know, and and it's it's upsetting to many people because there's you know there's not this one set way, and things are always changing. That's why it's important to be working with a professional that has their you know their 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 finger on the pulse of the market that knows understands mortgage options. Um, understands how you know that is going to affect your buying power. Um, you're never going to be able to time the market perfectly, but you, what you can do is set yourself up for success uh, by getting pre-approved way in advance. Um, and who knows? You may get pre-approved and find out, you know what? Wow, I didn't know I qualified for that program. Uh, I think I might buy in the next couple months versus waiting a year. Might be able to take advantage of lower rates now versus waiting that period of time. Um, but it, it's just all to have your options, all your ducks in a row, way in advance. When you do that, you're prepared to make an offer, move forward, do a 30, 45, 60 day close and be done. You don't have to ha have any hiccups. Um, so that's just something that I want to bring to your attention. I've been asked a lot about you know potential mortgage options. A lot of people heard in a prior video that I talked about 0% financing. There is 0% financing still out there. Um, there are some criteria, one of them being you have to have over a 720 credit score. Uh, but you can have 0% financing, DC, Maryland, Virginia pretty much all areas through uh, credit union. I use a couple different ones that offer this program. 0% um, financing up to $650,000. Yeah, and that you heard that me correctly, $650,000. Um, you have to have over that credit score. It can't be, a, it needs to be a detached or a townhome. It can't be a condo or a co-op. Um, but this financing does exist. And the best part about it is, is that there's no more monthly mortgage insurance where with FHA, um, in conventional, unless you're putting down a big sum of money, you're going to have monthly mortgage insurance. Um, so this is a great option. And, and for people out there that are not aware of these options, I can put you in contact with the, um, the lenders and the credit unions that I use 
to get people great deals and also you know get them into homes a lot earlier than they thought. I mean, um, recently we had a client that was in the I want to say probably 660 to 680 credit score range. They didn't have the money to put down on a house, but within three to four months, they were able to get their credit score over the 720. They then qualified for 100% financing. They went from not being able to buy a house to buying a house in six months. Uh, and, and this is pretty common. I mean, like I said, but the reason why they were able to accomplish that is because they were looking at their financial options up front. They couldn't do anything right then and there, but they worked toward it in six months they could uh, versus taking the backwards approach, just thinking that everything's okay in your mind with your finances and then all of a sudden you go and start looking at houses and then you get your credit pulled again and then there's a hiccup and then you can't even move forward the contract falls through um, and then you're you know you're stressed out about the whole thing and it puts a bad taste in your mouth and you don't want to buy a house anymore um, so this is just you know just my experiences in dealing with this and I think that you know like I said I we've got a, a great track record of working with people putting them in positions to buy working with professionals on the mortgage side uh, that can get things done quickly. Um, and if you're not in a position today, get you in a position in the coming months. That's all for that. So we'll jump into today's listing. It's 9170 Weathersfield Drive. It's located in the Kingsbrook subdivision. It's a detached colonial brick front, as you can see here, two car garage. It's listed at 435,000. Four bedroom, two and a half bath. Sits on just over a quarter acre lot. It does have three levels. Um, the main levels, two levels, is 2,852 square feet. So it's a good size home. Um, the basement looks like that it is unfinished. So if you did finish the basement, let's just call it 15, 20 grand, you'd have a, a, approximately a 4,000 square foot house, which is a great size home. Um, I think that this price point is fantastic. Um, it says that the walkout basement's with full windows and nine foot ceilings. So when you do finish that, um, I think it would provide a lot of extra space, nice man cave area or, uh, you know, media room, workout room, whatever you plan on doing down there. Um, but there's no pictures to go off of. It, all we have is that, um, it, that there is a new water heater, dishwasher, a four-year-old four year HVAC, hardwood flooring, upgraded cabinets, recessed lighting, uh, and a huge deck and a fenced rear yard with professional landscaping. Um, so it tells me that it looks like it's pretty solid. We'll see if their pictures come on in the coming days. But I did want to show you what else is kind of sold in there. Um, this one sold for four forty seven five hundred. It was only 2,300 square feet with a finished basement, so smaller, and it sold for four forty, um, and that was back in August eleventh. And then there was another one that sold October eleventh for four fifty nine, which was twenty seven hundred and eighty square feet with a finished basement. So realistically, with this house with a finished basement, it's probably going to be worth about four hundred and sixty, four hundred and sixty five, or seventy. Um, so I think that you are getting some value uh, if you don't mind putting a little sweat equity and maybe finishing off the basement or just finishing it as you as you can. Uh, I think it's a great option. I think that um, it's got a nice curb appeal, um, and I think that the value being beneath 450000 is definitely going to make this one one to pay attention to uh, and probably is going to move relatively quick. So if you'd like to check this out, we can get you out there sometime today or tomorrow. Uh, reach out to my assistant, 703-596-0011, and or you can visit our website and contact us there. As we talk about every day, it's bristodailyhomes.com. Have a great day, guys, and we'll be back tomorrow.